Hello students, I am going to explain you correlation and regression through R. These are topics of statistics. Already you are aware of this. Just taking a revision of it and I will show you the implementation of these in R. Correlation is a relationship between two variables. The data can be represented by the ordered pairs of X and Y where x is independent that is predictor and y is the dependent or the response variable. To represent correlation we use scatter plot. Here the linear correlation between the variables can be shown. For example consider the data given here and for this data the scatter plot is shown x-axis values 1, 2, 3, 4 along the x-axis and the y-axis values are shown here. So you can observe the correlation between x and y variables. There are different types of correlation. As x increases, the value of y tends to decrease. This is called as negative correlation. As the value of x increases, the value of y tends to decrease, increase that is called as positive correlation. When there is no relation between x and y axis, then it is called as no correlation. And the x and y axis, the values are not linearly correlated. It is called as non-linear correlation. So thus, these are the different types of correlations. Then comes correlation coefficient. I know you know this coefficient and even the formula. And what is this coefficient? It's the measure of strength and the direction of a linear relationship between variables x and y. The range of correlation coefficient is minus 1 to 1. If x and y are strongly positive correlation, in that case, the value of this correlation coefficient is close to 1. If x and y are negatively correlated, that is strongly negatively correlated, then the correlation coefficient value r is to be 1, minus 1. If there is no linear correlation, that is weak linear correlation, R is close to 1. Let's see example. See, the first one. In the first case, the value of R is minus 0.91. This indicates, because it is negative, it indicates negative correlation. Where in the second case, R is equal to 0.88. That indicates strong positive correlation. The value of R in the third case is 0 0.42 which is not closer to minus 1 as well as not minus 0, minus plus 1. So there is weak positive correlation and the value of R is here 0 0.01. This is neither close to minus 1 nor minus plus 1 so non-linear correlation. The previous one is weak positive correlation because the value is 0 0.42 which is uh, not close to 1. So it is weak positive but here no correlation at all. <coughs> then let's see linear regression. It is the statistical technique for finding best fitting straight lines for set of data. The main objective of regression is to find out the relationship between x and y and this helps for prediction. Here we are drawing regression line and this line here makes the relationship between the variables easier to see. Say for example, let's consider the relationship between x and y. The relationship is drawn in the form of regression lines where the changes in x and changes in y that is in terms of slope. The equation of the line is equal to y is equal to bx plus a where b is treated as slope change in value of y 
as per the change in value of x and <coughs> why this is the intercept this is the intercept that is a and x is the value and as per the equation the line we are getting value for the y and this is the predicted value and this is called as regression line. Let's consider example to illustrate this regression. A local cricket club charges rupees 5 per hour plus annual membership fee is 25 rupees. Compute we need to so so the club charge is 5 and the annual membership from the rate is 25. So this is the intercept here. Now we need to compute the total cost of playing cricket for 10 hours per month. So the equation will become constant that is uh, 5 rupees per, uh, per hour and x is number of hours and the intercept. Actually x is the <coughs> b and a are given here and x is the one which is changing. So, by applying the values x equal to 10, the slope is 5 and the intercept is 25, the value y comes at 75. So, how we are, we are making use of regression to compute y. Now, <coughs> the least square solution. Actually, it is minimizing the square root of the square difference between data points and the line. So, I will show you in the next diagram. The best fit line has the smallest total square error. Here, this is the actual value. This is the predicted value. The difference between actual and predicted value need to be minimized. That is called as the square fit. So, the, if this is the regression line and these are the observed values, that is predicted values, then the, uh, there exists some deviation. These deviations, some of the square of these deviations are residual. These need to be minimized. When estimating the parameters for slope and intercept, one minimizes the sum of the square of residuals and that is called as prediction error. So, one more illustration. Say, years of experience along the x-axis and the uh, payment per hour along the y-axis. This is the regression line, y is equal to mx plus c, where these are the observations. These ob you can make out the blue color. These observations are slightly deviated here. So, this how much the deviation these line observations from the given regression line that becomes the error. So, that is called as residual. After verifying that the linear correlation between variable is significant, we will determine the equation. So, here observed value minus the predicted value that becomes the error. So, shown here for the observed this observation D1 and here D2 this is the observed value. predicted value. So, sum of square of this is residual. The objective here, the regression line to be found in such a way that the sum this residual, this error should be minimum. Each data point di represents the difference between the observed value and the predicted value for the x-axis this difference is called as residual. Okay. Now the important task, how to implement, illustrate, correlation and regression using R. So here I am making use of built-in data set of R that is empty cars. So I will show you this in R studio. So I will take the 
So yeah, it's all ready. So first, I will attach empty cars head. So so empty cars just um, you are already aware of this data set here we are having mpg cylinder displacement these are the variables and first few observations are displayed so let's plot the relationship between mpg and weight i'm taking these two variables mpg and weight so we'll plot so the for drawing the scatter plot, the uh, scatter plot, we are taking two variables, mpg miles miles per gallon along the y-axis and the car weight along the x-axis. So the observations are plotted here. We can observe the negative correlation between car weight and mileage per gallon. So let's draw regression line. The function ln is here for draw, um, um, performing the regression line. So let's, yeah, the regression line is plotted between y and x. The summary of this regression is given here. The summary of the regression. The value, most important here is p-value. P-value, the value of p which is less than 0 0.05, that indicates that uh, rejecting the null hypothesis, that is accepting the alternative hypothesis, I mean, there exists the significant relationship between car weight and mileage per gallon. The null hypothesis here is there is no significant relationship between car weight and mileage per gallon. Since the value of P is less than 0 0.05, we are rejecting null hypothesis. There exists the relationship between car weight and mileage per gallon. So now let's see what is the correlation, what is the coefficient, the value for R. The function COR computes correlation coefficient what it indicates the correlation coefficient value point minus point zero eight six that indicates this value is closer to like minus one so it indicate this indicates there is a negative correlation between car weight and mileage per gallon so this is about correlation and the correlation coefficient Let's go a little further. Uh, instead of taking only two variables, I'm taking the all variables. If you observe here, this shows here in the earlier case, I had taken only two variables mpg and weight but now i am taking all the variables the correlation among the variables so mpg to mpg of course it is one mileage per gallon to cylinder is if you observe the correlation is minus 0.85 negative correlation mileage per gallon to displacement again negative correlation mileage per gallon to drag is the positive correlation so like this you can analyze by observing these values the correlation coefficient among the variables the same thing can be plotted using cor plot i just want you to try this program refer the ppt and try this program in R, get output by applying the correlation plot. You need to import correlation plot package and make use of correlation plot function and get correlation plot. And let's discuss this in the classroom. Thank you.